Hello everyone, Anton Benning here and today we are back. New week, new chances and we continue in the chapter on desire of the book Think and Grow Rich. The classic written by Napoleon Hill and today I want to dive a little bit deeper in the definiteness of purpose. The knowing what you want and the burning desire to possess it because that is how it all starts. The starting point of all achievement, desire. I can't say it enough. And it is not for nothing that he goes on for dozens and dozens of pages just on the subject of desire. He gave, for example, someone called Marconi. Maybe you've heard of him. Because at a certain point in time, Marconi was like, Hey guys, I invented something. I think I know how to... Uh, transmute the energy of our sound onto another level of the ether and then without wires or without big machines or whatever I can tra transfer the sound from one place to another and they thought he was nuts <laughs> they thought he was so nuts so that they sent him to a psychotic hospital and they had him researched and, and, and checked out and eventually, what happened? He did not appear to be crazy. <laughs> he appeared to be genius. Because uh, thanks to uh, uh, the legendary Marconi nowadays, we have uh, the radio or the signals that transmute uh, from one place to another place. And the same is for Copernicus. Everybody declared Copernicus crazy, a nutcase, because he thought and he wanted to prove that there are more planets, more solar systems, more, more of what we knew that there was. And everybody was like, ah, what, what is that dude talking about? And now, Thanks to Copernicus, we are aware of a bigger world. Not just our planet Earth, but our solar system. And that is the, the, the case of the practical dreamers. The practical dreamers are those people like you and me that have a dream, but don't want to keep the, dra keep the dream a dream, but want to bring it into reality. And that is how you get from what you want to where you want to be. You get what I'm saying? The, the, the process of getting from being a dreamer to a practical dreamer. The practical dreamer starts to apply anything and everything that could possibly bring him forward to that which he wants to acquire. Doesn't matter if it is money, health, uh, better climate, uh, or better relationships. Doesn't matter. It counts for anything and everything. And it is the practical dreamers that actually uh, shape our existence, that actually uh, nudge the human race forward, as it is said. So, if you have a crazy idea, you are open-minded. And you are willing to stake your entire existence upon the achievement of your dream? You will get it, no matter what. It mu you must be a no matter what person. That is the only way to turn nothing into something. To turn, transmute your thoughts, your desires into its physical equivalent. Tomorrow we'll continue. And for today, I want to wish you an awesome day. Let's make it an awesome week and don't forget to live with passion.